I've already tried to run the heat pump backwards, in other words, turning it by hand to see if I could generate a temperature differential making it work like a heat pump. I couldn't do it holding it in my hands, I just got all kinds of erratic data. What I've done is, this is the same little Stirling engine heat pump, um, cut out a couple pieces of Reflectix insulation. I'm going to uh, put a thermocouple on one side and another on the other and wrap up real tight in the insulation to make sure that any heat or temperature differential generated won't be overwhelmed by just the environment. We'll give that a try and see what happens. Okay, this is my setup where I've got a dual input digital thermometer. I've got T1, which is the big number here, connected to the top of the um, uh, uh, Starling engine and T2 is connected to the bottom of it. And I got it, this reflectix insulation taped all around it. And I've let them set for quite a while and it's pretty close, T1 and T2. The temperatures bounce around 79.3, 79.4, 79.5s. So I think that's probably about as close as it may get. I'm going to do a time lapse spinning this. Um, Sterling engine, and we'll see if we can generate a temperature difference. Okay, you can see that the T1, the temperature on the top underneath here, went from about 79.5 to 80.2, just a few minutes. Um, the bottom one, for some reason, it's interesting, T2, really did not budge much. It stayed around 79.3, 79.4. So I'm not sure how that's happening because for the top to heat up, it must be getting its heat from somewhere. So that's interesting. So what I'm going to try now is, is let it cool back down the equilibrate, then spin it in the opposite direction, counterclockwise of this orientation. We'll see if it goes the other direction. Hopefully, whoops, hopefully you can see that T2 is now 80.2. T1's hardly budge, 80.3, by spinning it in the opposite direction, which is interesting. It really looks like um, this design of heat pump, um, you definitely, you can heat up one side preferably or preferentially one or the other, depending on the direction of rotation. For some reason, the opposite side doesn't cool down much. Um, interesting. Not sure why.